In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a full step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use Virtual DJ. Now, this tutorial is going to show you exactly how to download it, as well as how to set it up so you can start mixing today. Now, if you've already downloaded Virtual DJ, feel free to skip forward in the video. But if you haven't yet downloaded it, you first want to come onto Virtual DJ's website. And from there, you can simply download it by clicking this button here or up here. From there, you'll be taken to this page and you can download it for either Windows or Mac. So download the one you need. So once you've downloaded it, you'll see this installer and you can simply read and agree to the terms in the license agreement. And from there, you can click install. It will then go through the installation process and once that's done, it will say it's successful and you can choose to launch Virtual DJ. So once you've got that downloaded and you've opened it up, it will look something like this. Now what I like to do is go up to the top left corner and where it says layout, I like to set this to pro. By default, I think it's set to something like starter or essentials. So yours probably looks something like this. However, I think Pro is the best and it will give you everything that you need to actually DJ. But you can also set it to performance if you prefer the look of this. So from there, we're going to want to log into our account. So we can go up to the top left corner and click here where it says not logged in. And from here, we can log in with Facebook, Microsoft, Apple, WeChat, Google or an existing email. So choose whichever one you like. I'm just going to choose email. You'll then get an email with a temporary password, which you can put into Virtual DJ and it will actually give you a 30 day free trial. So once you've done that, we're now ready to start connecting our decks and getting our music ready. So now you want to plug your decks into the computer. And once you've done that, you should see this pop up saying that you've connected your device. So here you can see the decks that you've got and you can choose where your speakers are connected to. So if your speakers are connected to computer, you're going to want to choose computer. But if you've actually plugged your speakers directly into your DJ controller, you want to choose the option on the right. So your deck should now be connected and when you move the knobs on the controller it should now show that in virtual dj as you can see so from here we just want to go up to our settings so we can change some things and make sure everything's working correctly and then you want to go over to audio from there you want to have the output set to speaker and headphone or just speaker for hardware if you want it coming out of your computer you can choose computer audio however if you want it coming out of your speakers that are connected to your decks you want to choose your controller which should be this one in the bottom right and from there you can click apply and when you play something it will now play and you can hear it out of your speakers so now that we've got our decks and speakers set up and we can hear the audio we now want to get some music ready so we actually have two options we can either download music onto our usb or we can get it off a platform like soundcloud so if you click on online music here you can see a few different options and if you already have playlists on soundcloud or something like that you can actually choose soundcloud here and you can click here to log into your account. Once you are logged in, they will be connected and you can simply just get your music from SoundCloud directly into Virtual DJ without you having to download anything. Now, this isn't going to be as fast as USB, so I do recommend that you download it on a USB, but not everyone wants to buy their music and download it onto USB. So it is easier for some people if you just use SoundCloud. But if you want to take DJing a bit more seriously, I do recommend that you get your songs onto a USB. As it's just faster and if you start doing events then you will need a usb with you so you can do it that way or if you want to get it on a usb what you want to do is simply buy all the music that you want to use and then load it onto a usb and from there you can simply just plug it into your computer and once you've done that you can then head over to local music and then when you click this drive section you'll be able to actually see your usb in this section right here so once you have your usb with your music loaded into it once you click on it it will look something like this and you can see all your music so in order to actually load them up, you can either drag it like this, or if you've got load buttons on your decks, you can simply click them. And as you can see, it loads it up to the top. So we can choose another song and then click it on the right. And as you can see, we've now got two tracks loaded at the top. So you want to start by making sure your tempos are correct. And since these songs are drum and bass, I've actually got these set to 87.5. But depending on the music that you're mixing, you might need a slightly different BPM. So I would recommend just Googling to find the correct BPM. However, Virtual DJ will try and do it automatically, so most of the time when you load up a song, it should be the correct BPM. So now all you have to do is click play. So from there, the music will start playing, and you'll now be able to mix successfully using your DJ controller on Virtual DJ. So that's pretty much all the basics. If you ever wanted to record one of your mixes, you can simply go to the top right corner and go to settings, and then you can choose record down here at the bottom. You can choose a file name and choose where you want to save it, and you can also choose the format, and then when you click start record, when you next start a song, it will actually start the recording from there. And to end it, you can come back into this section and just end the recording. But other than that, that's all the basic information that you need to know in order to get started with using Virtual DJ. 
If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and comment down below to say this video helped you out. And also, like and subscribe to see some more content like this. Thanks for watching.